Welcome to Washington, D.C. All right, this is a picture of the White House, the actual White House, the design of the White House. home of President Obama. Hello, fifth graders. We're in front of the White House. This is the executive branch of the government. Executive branch. Leader is the president. This is the Lincoln Memorial, fifth graders. The Lincoln Memorial. Never been here before. Oh, when you get inside, you will not believe how impressive the statue of Lincoln is. Now, there's 36 columns representing the 36 states in the Union when he was president. His second term. For his second term. Abraham Lincoln. Notice his right, actually his left on your right fist is clenched. His left fist, on your left, his right fist is open. It is sign language for his initials, A.L., Abraham Lincoln. The creator of this monument had a son who was deaf and that's why he's using sign language. This is the World War II Memorial. There's the Atlantic side and the Pacific side and the states are in between. All 50 states are represented here. As you can see, this is Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Maine, and on down. World War II Memorial. Massive structure. Each pillar representing one of the 50 states. Mrs. Delano is videotaping there in between Rhode Island and Kentucky. Awesome fountain in the center. Huge structure for the Pacific side. This is the Pacific side. The Atlantic side is, of course, across the way. Standing at the World War II Memorial, you can see the Washington Monument in the distance. 555 feet structure. As you listen to the calm waters of the World War II Memorial. This is the Korean War Memorial for the Korean War. You may be able to notice the look of fear on 
on the soldiers' faces. Let's get a closer look. There's even detail on the wall behind. This is the wall for the Korean War Memorial. The wall. The front view of the Jefferson Memorial, if you can see Thomas Jefferson, again the 19 foot statue inside, let's see if I can zoom in a little closer, you can see him in there. Um, again, no statue can be taller than the Statue of Freedom above the Capitol building which is about 19 and a half feet tall. Notice the pillars. Um, Try to get you a side view. Again, rectangular structures inside, but a triangular roof. We'll try to get a side view. This is the side view, one of the ends of the Jefferson Memorial. Notice the circular patterns. Again, with pillars, circular roof. A very cylinder shape and a almost a shape of a sphere on top. This is the 19-foot statue of Thomas Jefferson inside the Jefferson Memorial. Okay, this is the Capitol Building, the U.S. Capitol Building where Congress meets. Remember, Congress has two houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Senate consists of about 100 members, two from each state. House of Representatives, around 435 members, according to the population in each state. the back side of the Capitol or maybe the This is the Vietnam War Memorial. All the names of those soldiers killed in Vietnam. An entire wall of names. Notice the shape. Comes Mrs. Delano. Wave, Mrs. Delano. Hello, fifth graders. In the Vietnam War Memorial. Notice the shape of this memorial. Very interesting shape. This is part of the FDR Memorial, the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial, and the water represents the Navy. He was a member of the Navy. So we'll go ahead and get a look at the rest of it. More of the FDR Memorial soldiers, water. Mr. Wagner walking in the background, Mrs. Delano taking video. And again, you'll see over here as we walk, it'll say third term. Third term.
1941 to 1945. This is another section of the FDR Memorial.